Not all data scientists are created equal. Some are amazing at creating machine learning models, while others are great at creating visuals. But one thing you gotta be good at as a data scientist is cleaning data. So how do you get good at this? Well, let's start with not sucking at it first. So let's cover five common data cleaning mistakes. And at the end of the video, I'll propose one solution that can solve all five of these mistakes. So let's get started. One thing you'll notice when you're cleaning data is that there's almost always missing values. Most people don't know why there's data missing, but this issue can introduce bias and lead to crazy inaccurate conclusions. There are many ways of handling missing data. You can remove rows or columns that have the missing data. You can input missing values using proxies like mean, median, or mode. And you can also use algorithms that can handle these missing values like using a random forest. Because after all, you are a data scientist. So then what's the opposite of a missing value? It's a value that makes no sense. These are sometimes called outliers. And obviously not handling these outliers correctly can really skew your view and your conclusions. But also, what you think of an outlier might not actually be an outlier. For example, a $2 million house might be an outlier unless you live in New York or San Francisco. And then $2 million is kind of just the average price of a house. So how do you find these outliers and how do you deal with them? So there's two ways. One is the visual way. You can create box plots and scatter plots so you can actually see the outlier. And the second way is statistics using a z-score or an IQR method to statistically find these outliers. But what if you can't even read that data? Well, this is a common issue in data cleaning because the data quality can be inconsistent. You might have different date formats or different case usages, which makes it very difficult to analyze your data. So let's fix this. Let's make the data format consistent. And so you can do that by standardizing the data to maintain consistency in terms of format, unit, and scales. And then you can try to also automate the work by implementing data validation checks, like how software developers implement unit tests for their features. But it isn't just the format that you need to worry about. You have to also worry about the data type itself. So this is a common mistake because not everyone checks the data type until it's too late. So the solution here is very easy. Just inspect and cast and convert your data type. And just a pro tip, you might want to also automate as much as possible. So I would implement checks to validate data types at various stages of your project. For example, if a date time variable like order date is stored as a string, you're going to obviously need to cast that as a date time data type to enable your calculations and your analysis. So here's a question. What's the most common data cleaning mistake? I think most people will say duplicates in their data set. This is a mistake everyone makes because duplicates often come from bad joins or merges and it ends up blowing your record count. A lot of data scientists don't do a post check or post inspection to make sure there's no duplicates in the data. So the easy solution here is just to dedupe your data. You can use various methods like grouping your data so that it'll dedupe automatically and then adding checks at every stage of your analysis to prevent unwanted duplicates. So those are five common mistakes. What do all of these mistakes have in common? It's that most of these mistakes involve manual inspection of the data and then a manual fix. Why not just automate as much as possible? Like I said before, software developers have this concept called unit tests. It ensures that their work passes the requirements of the feature that they're trying to build. You should do the same for data science. So one thing you can do is just create scripts that automate all of this data cleaning tasks that are always on repeat at every step of your process. That will surely reduce the amount of mistakes you make when cleaning your data. And second, ensure that the cleaning process is documented and reproducible so that everyone on your team knows exactly what business rules and logic you use to clean your data. So I hope this helps. Let's try not to make these mistakes and embarrass ourselves. If you like content like this, please subscribe to this channel and go on to stratascratch.com to get data science resources. Thank you.